Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training, I'm Matthew. In this video we are looking at the Videx WSC4CU1 or 2 controller along with the MTPAD-RS-MF keypad reader. The, this particular reader is a pin pad and it's a MyFair token, it also does Deskfire, MyFair, um, EV1, EV2 and so on. The, in previous videos we have looked at setting the controller up in web mode where you do local admin. We've also looked at how you set the controller up to be managed on the Videx services app. So you have remote login, you can log in, as long as you've got a web browser, you can browse to it, log in and do admin. So all we're doing in this video is enabling the controller to accept the keypad. We're going to program a code in and then just test it's all working and everything's um, Ready to go. So with the controller already configured, let's log into the software and get started. Okay, so here we are in the software, the in the GUI, sorry, on the web browser. We're going to click on doors, go to the door in question, and you can see here at the bottom either A or B. And all we need to do is click on the box for keypad and enable it for your particular door. So in my case, you can see here reader B keypad is ticked. And that's now enabled, ready to go. Then we need to go to settings and in other options we can dictate the length of code. So I'm going to set it, set, it, set it to a four digit pin. As you can see you can do up to eight digits. Make sure you click on save at the top there when you make any changes. Click on back. So now that's, that's it basically set up. So the next step is to add a user. So go to users, at the top there, new, click on new user. Give it a name. Make sure it's all enabled. Access and access zones that you would have created. And then create a pin code. Once you've done that, click save. And that's now saved in. So we've now enabled the keypad, dictated the length, created the code. All we need to do now is if we click on the event log, we can watch what happens when I type in a code. So let's go to events. Is it there is event. So now I will go over to the controller, uh, keypad, sorry, type in the code. There we go, the code was accepted, and, there, and that's it. Now, if I ever need to add or delete people remotely, I can do it relatively straightforward. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.